Hi everyone. Um, Isaiah. Um, yeah, product design mentor basically, and um, I'll be taking some of the topics uh, that we'll be covering for this track. So basically, what I'm doing today uh, is is just introduction uh, to design. Uh, some of you might be, you know, familiar with some of what I'll be talking about today and others might not so but it's just necessary that you know we do um introduction um so basically uh i think i should just do a little bit talk about um slack and how we should do our communication so you know try as much as possible to adhere to like instructions try as much as possible to you know basically when you when you get to a new space for the first time you um want to understand their rules and regulations so that you're not you know, an offender, you know, basically, if you go to a new country. So I think um, that should be our approach. Let's just always look at, um, I mean, rules and regulations. So just, just check, you know, pin messages on every Slack channel that you join, you know, so that's on that though. So let's get into what we have today. Uh, yeah, introduction design first class. Okay, so um, in, in this track, generally, so these are some of the stuff I will be co um, covering, you know, they are deep, deep into it, you know, but then it's just like an um, overboard. Uh, we have lots of UX um, design thinking, you know, guide to using Figma, basically, and plugins and so many stuff around Figma. Um, we also have, you know, um, creating style guides. Um, you would get to know about all of this stuff when you get there, conducting user research you know, prototyping in Figma, interaction design and writing case studies, you know, and all. So it'd be very interesting, try as much as possible. If some would be um, videos, some would be live classes, you know, just try as much as possible to get it, you know. So um, so that's for that. Okay, so let's get into it. So UI UX design. So when, when you hear the term UI UX design, uh, yeah, it, it's quite, it's quite, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, an acronym and you definitely want to understand what's UI, what's UX, you know. So UI basically is user interface, UX is user experience, for those that do not know, uh, you know, and basically it's, it's like just designing, you know, digital products, basically, you know, um, for our scope, just like the, the interface for digital products, the experience of for digital products. Uh, so basically um, it is designing products that are visually pleasing, like look good to you. You know, when you visit websites, you're like, wow, the beautiful website looks good. You know, and then your experience with trying to navigate around the website is actually interesting also. So that's just the work, you know, you are UX. Um, designer, that's basically what UI UX design, you know, basically means. Uh, okay, so what's now the difference between UX and UI? I think um, if you are following me a little bit, you would get uh, that they're not the same. So UI really relates to, you know, designing um, the appearance, you know, the way it looks like, your color, what color are you using? You know, uh, what what font, what text, you know, for example, are you using and all of that, what you are seeing, you know, is the, what um, UI design really is. You know, UX design uh, basically is why you are seeing what you're seeing. So basically UX design goes into, you know, like, let's like say, uh, into your thoughts, like accent question. If you want to do something on the screen, you're like, why, why exactly, you know, why exactly um, are we doing it this way? Why exactly, you know, is it happening this way? So basically that's, that's just like, that's just like it though. Um, so UX is um, at the back, you know, like your thoughts are at the back, why UI design is like what you're seeing at the front, you know, colors, images, everything you are seeing, you know, yep. So that's for that. So that what's now the like the goal? What's the purpose of you know UX user experience? The um what's the goal of like user user experience? Like what exactly you know was the point of user experience? Like can't we just look at websites and say oh the stuff looks good? Then let's let's make it fly. So basically, like I was explaining, um much more further now. So user experience uh is basically you know working on um interactions, the flow. You know, you want to do something. Let me let me now use an example. Um, you're using a, a a banking app, for example, and you want to make transfers. You know, 
and then um so what the work of user experience is to make sure that you finding you know the button that says you know you should send money and then you putting in the account number and getting you know the account details like bank of the person putting the amount you know all of those process you know that way you know um they vary in different bank apps and in some bank apps they are much more easier to make use of than in some other bank apps so what simply happened there is that the user experience for those ones that are much easy the 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 um those apps you know those bank apps that are much easier you know to you make transfer from have a better user experience for transfer you know than those ones that are difficult so basically it is just like you are solving experience problem what people you know feel when making use of, of you know the platform it's just like um you are, you're in a situation for example like you're using a site or you're using an app and then you're trying to do something and basically while you know trying to do something you 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 want to perform a certain tax you know that oh this stuff can you know do for you or this product you know basically can do for you and um and so you want to perform certain tax that the product that this product can do for you you know that this product can do it um for example but then you are now searching and searching you know and just searching you know and you don't know where to um to maybe find that that button or that action, you know, just stops like that. So user experience is basically, you know, when it's difficult for your user, the moment your user have to think twice, you know, uh, the moment your user have to wait, you know, on how to perform a certain task. So that means for that particular um, thing or for that particular function or functionality, and, and it's a bad UX, you know. So basically your UX user experience design process would look like this, you know, it's more like um, having so many ideas, you know, scattered everywhere. And then you're trying to fix and fix and fix and put stuff together. So this is more like a physical, you know, um, approach. Uh, so basically this is what you have on this screen is a mirror board uh, on this shot. So this is a mirror board. Basically uh, now we know that I mean, nice percent of work is done online. I mean, most of everyone works remotely now. So Miro is one very good to, you know, for user experience design. Uh, so it's also it works like the physical one. There are digital sticky notes also, where you just paste your ideas around, try to arrange them together, you know. So, you know, user experience is like a very rough process. You're not, it's not like you're putting buttons. It's not what you are seeing on your site, you know, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not the board, it's not the text you are seeing on, on the home page, um, saving for all, like, or maybe uh, money solution for Africa, all this, no, it's not all of this stuff, you know, it is those things that make you decide that, okay, let's put this text, you know, and make it colorful. It's those things that make you, um, that help you make your decisions, you know, in terms of UI and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, this is FIGDAM. Um, so this is like, Fig Jam, you know, came quite after Miro, and it's been very interesting so far, personally for me. Okay, so, um, so the user interface goals, I've explained a lot about UX, the UI one should be clear now. So for user interface, it is what you see. That's just like, basically, it's what you see um, on, on the app. You know, you, you download the app, and then you see a splash screen, then you see an onboarding, um, whatever, like tell you this app, you can transfer money from here to this, this app, you can transfer money from blah, blah, and stuff like that. You know, those, all those things you see on your screen, then you see the home page, you see your wallet balance, you see, you know, all of those stuff, what you are seeing physically, you know, uh, that's like user interface. So basically, um, it is the, the, the main goal, you know, of UI uh, is first off to interpret, you know, the solution to the user that's like the major thing but then also to help you know i mean just to add some aesthetics so that things won't be too boring you know for the users so that's just like basically it's what you see so yeah this is like quite quite sample so this is um onboarding screens and um, that's like the landing page on the right and so this is user interface you know and then you would you would you would begin to you know, um, if it's a, a product, for example, like this one on the left, you know, uh, the kind of work that, that I've gone through, that I've gone, you know, just to 
uh, make certain decisions like when you was do notify, make it, you know, those two short words and, you know, a lot of mixes, you know, that's, um, okay, I don't want to talk about that. Um, so that's like some work, or, that's some UX work actually, you know, when we say win reward is like, we, the, the main uh, reason why these words were short in was to, you know, make it clear and easy for, you know, the user to understand. I mean, that's just basically, but then UI, user interface is what you are seeing currently, you know, on the screen. Yeah. So yeah, that's UI. Okay. So now UI, UX designer goes like, where, is it, where does it come to? That's why you see that you and UX are like inseparable, you know, because you're working on one thing. You As you're starting out in your career, you can't say, uh, I just want to be UX designer, or you just want to be UI designer, you know. Uh, the industry does not really accommodate such, to be sincere, uh, especially for junior roles. Uh, you hardly even see such. Okay, so um, so a final product, uh, you know, design, basically, is the is the Com combined work of UX and UI, you know, first starting with UX, making sure that all of the experience are seamless, fantastic, wonderful, easy to navigate, you know, the flow is nice, the users are not, you know, stressed. There's a lot that goes into UX, you know, to making sure that all of those things are achieved. And then UI is like beautiful designs, the final one that you see. So, um, so that's the sum of UI and UX. So basically, so that we can have a platform that is easy, you know, for users to navigate and yes, still looks very, very fantastic to them, basically. Okay, so then what is product design? Um, I know that basically that's like what's been on our mind, maybe uh, in my opinion. So, so now what's the difference like between UI, UX and then product design? Um, so you see uh, product design, uh, now goes a little bit much further beyond the UI UX design. So when you're a product designer, you know, you're working consistently to make products successful. And the, the success of a product, you know, um, does not only depend on the design you do, you know, it depends on the company, you know, that owns the product, what's the goal of the product, what exactly, you know, is the target for the product. Then also, you know, the business goals of the company, you know, there are certain features you drop because of business, you know, that, that there are even many times you ship very terrible designs. I mean, sorry to say that. So you're just starting out in design, but it's like the bitter truth that we experience in the industry. Designs you are paying, you know, that, that is going live, you know, but then there's nothing you can do for the moment because of business. You don't meet time. Developers don't have the strength to implement your jargons, you know, and all of that. So product design is beyond UI UX now. It still has, you know, you still do all your research, understand the user and all of that, and, you know, design solution for the user. But now you now have to think business, you know, when you are doing your design. You now have to think, you know, product when you are doing your design. So product designers really are designers that stays, you know, working on products. So most of the times I always tell people if you're freelancing really and you're just designing stuff from idea to MVP and that's your end of relationship with the client. Really, you, you, you shouldn't call yourself a product designer. You know, a product designer, even if you don't join the company at M MVP stage, I think you join the product at several stages, you know, you know, market fits maybe if it's mvp fine but then from mvp you worked with the product till it attained market fit you know made lots of changes and stuff messed up the figma board arranged it again and all of that and then um for market fit maybe you you were with the um the product or with the company till um scale or, or whatever is that so product designers you know think business in design you know not just um, the product, not just it's not just about designing food UI and doing case study and posting on Twitter. You know, you can design the home page of food UI in the space of the product. You can design the home page like nine times. You know, trying to find the perfect one that would make sure that you know, you know, it drives business. You know, you want to make sure that people are able to order immediately. You know, there are many things you will ask. You know, there are many business questions you will ask yourself. You know, when as a product designer. Um, okay, so that's the difference. So UI UX, you're just doing the design, understand the user UX, do the research and all, do the UI, design the interface, submit product design. You're understanding the user, understanding the business understanding the market, you know, understand the, the space in which you are trying to solve. Make sure you are crafting out a solution that will drive, 
you know, business goals, increase revenue, you know, and all of that. So that's like the difference between that. So basically, what you will be doing for now would still be UI UX design until maybe you get roles. So other design fields that exist, you know, I wanted to go, go to a little bit more um, wider on each of these, but then I just felt like there was no need to, except somebody is planning to run away from UI UX design. All right, so yeah, we are graphics designers. So, I mean, I don't need to talk much. They've been around for quite a while. We have information designers, you know, just telling at those guys that do, you know, do those um, infographics, you know, and all of those stuff, just to make you understand something, yeah, like information designers. So we have experiential designers. So experiential designers are like, most of like your interior designer guys, those guys that design, you know, experiences like physical, you know, spaces, you know, and stuff like that. Um, we have interaction designers, uh, and so interaction designers are basically, um, um, I mean, motion guys, those guys do motion design, you know, um, just all of those motion stuff, movement, movement. Once you see a design that stops and moving, you are sure that it's not a video. And what I mean by video is like, it's not like, it was not short, you know, it was something that was mastermind, um, was like done by someone basically. So motion, then you know that like it's interaction design. Uh, then we have game designers. So game designers basically design interfaces for games, you know, and lots of other things, not too much. I don't know too much of that space, but I mean, that's just a sum of like other design fields. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the UI UX design process. Short, short, it's actually very short. So um, this is just like, I just broke it down like into just three. So um, research and analysis, you know, creating em empathy maps, journey maps, experience maps. Um, don't worry yourself about all of these terms. You are going to have a special class user research, you know. So we have design stage, wireframes, prototypes, interface design. Don't worry yourself about each of these terms also. There'll be a class that will cover wireframes, prototypes, and even interface design. Um, validation, so basically user testing. Um, yep, yeah, so you will cover all of these things, but this is just like the process. So uh, one of the reasons why I really wanted to show you was because I need to get your mind prepared that um, the UX design process, as you can see, is not a straight one. Uh, it looks straight. I don't even like the way I do it. I meant to mix these things. So basically, um, it you empathize. Um, empathize is simply, you know, trying to, um, you know, get into the shoes of your users, you know, to solve their problem. Don't worry yourself too much. You would understand each of these things if you are finding it hard to catch up, you know. The next thing is to define the problem, you know. Um, you empathize with the users, people facing the problem, define the problem, you know, come up with solution, prototype and test. So you can see that it's a forward-backward react, um, reaction. It's a forward-backward, you know, process. So meaning that it's not set to that I mean you could jump from empathize to um, no sorry you could jump back from ideate to empathizing back you can be prototyping and know that you maybe you didn't empathize well or you need to define and understand the problem more I mean things can just switch you know switch around um sorry oh, okay so things can just like switch 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 you know and stuff like that okay um, but so um let me just run that out so basically this like the process you know you will just basically be trying to understand the user coming up with solution testing the solution with work with the user if it doesn't work you go back to test you know like that it's just i mean logical so tools used for your ux design uh for ux design fig jam i showed you fig jam i showed you miro also you know, like the interface. Um, so we have Moral, Google Forms. This is just, I mean, very little. We have lots of tools, you know, even in terms of wireframing, Wimscal, and many other tools like that. You know, I don't want to bore you with tools. For everybody, someone can start downloading, you know, all of the tools there. So for UI design, Figma, sure, our best friend, Adobe XD, if you like, um, then Sketch, maybe. So, um, but majorly, everyone should have Figma now. So we'll be using Figma, you know, for this training um okay so for prototyping we have invasion figma and protopy i think basically for the prototyping for this wood figma does quite a lot you know in prototyping not very satisfactory still but then they do they do quite a lot so we will be using figma you know so that I won't get you to start learning a new tool you know in the short while three months but you might just want to take note of these ones so you might want to learn them on your own maybe after the training um, okay, so opportunities for 
UI UX designers. Uh, so I just got these shots from, I think this is space scale and this glass, um, no, sorry, glass door and this space scale left, right. Um, so the, the, the salary for UI UX designers, you know, before when I see stops on glass door and stuff like that, I used to think they are, you know, always lying, but it's actually the truth. Uh, although, you know, might not be this an average, an average means that it could be lesser, it could be more you know, and stuff like that. So basically, um, yeah, there's opportunities. That's just the whole point of this. You know, it's not to draw your high, you know, to the money, but then there are opportunities. I know someone who did Zuri last year. I mean, he started designing, you know, last year with Zuri and and, and now, as of today, he works with a Web3 company in the US remotely, you know, earning, I think, over 2 k dollars per month. Yeah, so basically, uh, you just you just um you just need to focus on on your craft you know focus on your craft make sure that you are good you know beat yourself beyond normal you know there'll be you might need to do sleepless nights you you begin to even um you notice that some of the things you'll find doing like it's gonna take you so much time to do um like some of those things i'll take you time to do now you know you notice that they won't when you are you know much more consistent familiar with it so you'll just be learning how to use figma at the same time, you just be learning how to do design, you know. I mean, I know it's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough, you know. Make YouTube your friend. You know, it's not every little thing you disturb mentors. I mean, 7,000, that's crazy, you know. So make YouTube your friend. Meet with people. Connect with people. Ask people questions, you know, on on, on the channel. Like, or send DMs to people, you know, you are, they've completed their tax, you know, just strive to make sure that you are better than you were last week. It's, it's that simple, you know, progress doesn't have to be, you know, a sen- you can't become a senior designer in three months, you know, we won't promise you that, you know, you might not even be a solid junior designer in three months, that's the truth. But the truth of the matter is that if you take, you know, all of these learnings we are giving you and you continue with it, you are definitely going to become better than you can even imagine you know don't look at the end you know just look at the process make sure you want to be better than you were last week last week you were struggling with profile card some of you after profile card you just left figma and went to sleep and you want to become the best ui ux designer in nigeria or you want to become a senior ui ux designer by december maybe i don't know so but after profile card you went to sleep. I wonder how that is going to happen. I mean, I even expected people, you should start dropping some crazy stuff you've done. You just went to dribble, you picked the landing page design, you just did it. You know, this is the way most of us moved. When we learned um, product design, basically, there were no trainings that much, you know. Uh, it was just you learning on your own. You carry a gun, post rubbish on Twitter, you know, and stuff like that. You just kept evolving and evolving. So, Every night you want to, once you finish, this is the way it was uh, basically for me. Once I was, I'm done with one nonsense rubbish design I was doing, I was using XD when I started. Um, I want to do the next one. I mean, was that, was that crazy? Once I'm done with this one, I want to look for another one to do. Even before I finish this one, you know, I'm already searching dribble for the next one I will do that will not be too hard, but we make sense, you know, that when people see it on Twitter, be like, hey, man, even though I knew I was doing, you know, now I know all those things were nonsense, you know, I can't even look at them again, you know, but the thing is that I always wanted to do, and I always wanted, and basically most of the people I've seen become very good in this field, they always want to do. So you can't just do one tax, you know, and go and relax. This three months, some of you, the only thing you'll be doing is the tax. It's not bad, you know, it would help you to learn, sure, but then go beyond what we are giving you here. That's the truth. Go beyond what you are getting here. So don't 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 just say, ah, I've done my tax, then sit down, come and be flexing the Slack channel. Okay, who has a problem? Let me solve it for you, you know, and all of those stuff. They are good. I mean, if you have the time, you help people, but focus on yourself, become very good, you know, when you can render help to people, you know, and that's just, that's just like basically it. So don't be, don't be, don't be lazy, you know. I mean, it's not the news that you can't even get anything out of life if you are lazy, you know. There will be sleepless nights. By the time you guys get getting into call, you know, based on the tax we have put down, you know, in the course of the coming weeks, you know, I know you will face lots of sleepless nights, you know, and you will give us a lot of sleepless nights, you know, grading the work. So, but then we are ready to do it as long as you guys create something good. I'll feel very bad if I grade 10 and I'm like, 
what the hell are these people doing really so you should put in your best you know to every tax you are giving put in your best to every tax that you'll be submitting when you submit you know that i have done my best you know not well let me just push it guy the moment you are doing that you definitely don't want to become a good designer you know so i think too much of perspire talk <laughs> so yep i think that's it and um questions <laughs>